Hi, I'm Basil from IT Supplies. With numerous paper options available, how do you choose the right one for your print? Today, I'll guide you through a series of questions that should help you find the ideal paper for your image. Many people inquire about the most popular papers to narrow down their choices. However, popularity doesn't always guarantee that it's the right paper for you or for your image. If you're inclined towards popularity, then I recommend Epson's Luster paper, which is widely recognized as one of the most popular photo papers. If most popular isn't the route that you're considering, let's review a few questions that can point you in the right direction. First, take a look at your image. Keep in mind that this is mostly subjective and there are no right or wrong answers. When you are examining your image, ask yourself, do you want a print that's rich and vibrant or would you prefer a more muted look? Have you considered whether you want a glossy or matte finish? Have you decided you want a black and white or color print? Again, there are no wrong answers here, which is what makes this process enjoyable. It's highly subjective. If after answering these questions, you've determined that you want a softer, more reflective print, then consider exploring papers like Epson's Hot Press Bright. This is a smooth, matte paper that could be a good option. For a more traditional photo aesthetic, Luster would be an excellent choice. It will provide you with a premium photo look. If during the question and answer process and you find yourself looking for something with texture, I recommend considering Epson's Cold Press. This paper will add a nice texture to your print. If your answers lean towards black and white, I suggest looking into Barita paper. Barita 2 is a great option inspired by the F64 group, which includes famous members like Ansel Adams, widely regarded as one of the most influential figures in the black and white landscape photography. Another unique option for black and white is Epson's Exhibition Fiber. You can also try Epson's Legacy Fiber. Sometimes a matte paper can create stunning black and white prints. Epson offers a diverse collection of fine art media, so don't hesitate to explore and experiment. We've discovered that Epson sample packs are particularly helpful. They allow you to feel and try out their entire range of papers. I hope this guidance has helped you in selecting the paper that will best represent your image. We'd love to hear your thoughts on this topic. What's your favorite Epson paper for printing? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, or better yet, share it with a friend. Thank you.